Responsible for more high-speed rail tracks than the rest of the world put together, China's high-speed rail system, known as Gaotie, is the object of envy for many countries. As the wheeled trains dominate China's 35,000 kilometers high-speed rail network, a magnetic levitation train prototype is pushing ground speeds to new levels. 那现在的世界纪录就是日本创造了六百零三公里每小时。Could this be China's next super train? When you see a machine with curves like this, you know it is born for speed. A full carbon fiber body weighs under 13 tons can completely float above the tracks. So light, even a little girl can push it forward without much effort. All of this work for one collective purpose: to get rid of any resistance that slows the train down. Because in our test track, the Gaotian train is automatic; it will automatically move forward. The power on the train will be derived from the air pressure generated by the air pressure. An aerodynamic shape, or the bullet head, is the widely popular design among high-speed trains, but not as aggressive as this one. As this very train was designed to hit a speed of 620 kilometers per hour, maglev trains aren't a novelty. Six commercial lines are in operation around the world; three of them are in China. But this prototype is using a new method to levitate: superconductors, unique materials that can completely repel magnetic fields. And therefore, float above the magnetic tracks. To create such a material, scientists need to cool it down to a temperature near absolute zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. So, using this kind of design, we thought we could make it do spherical levitation. Japan, in 1962, started this thing called spherical levitation. First, the car used this spherical levitation body. So, it needs to use this. 更低的温度要冷却，具体就是指这个液氦这个温度，就是零下两百六十九度。Till this day, liquid helium is still very expensive to acquire, but when China kicked off its research on superconductive maglev in the 1980s, there was a giant leap in the industry. A class of materials was discovered to achieve superconductivity at negative 196 degrees Celsius. That's warmer than absolute zero, so it is known as high-temperature superconductor. It and our earlier discovery of this high-temperature material are different. The speed can travel through the material. When you turn around, you will feel that there is a strong pull. It is a kind of wind that pulls you. It has a recovery mechanism. You can turn it back and turn it back. This special property, known as flux penning, allows a superconductor to float at negative 196 degrees Celsius. This property, known as flux penning, allows a superconductor to float in a steadier way. But what's more important, they can work in a warmer environment, a tenable. By liquid nitrogen, which is cheap and plentiful. Then we built the whole train from the top down. We built the whole train from the top down. So its weight is slightly more balanced. For the cost and the demands, it is lower. So from some kind of way, it can reduce the cost of our train. This train, because it is used with high speed levitation, its power is all on the ground. The original train had a gearbox. The power was already turned on. It didn't need it anymore. 那么它就不用它了。这样的话，车就很简单，跑起来更安全了。Outside China, maglev technology has shown sign of taking off in Japan. It set a record of 603 kilometers per hour back in 2015. A maglev line between Tokyo and Nagoya is scheduled to open commercially in 2027. But for China's maglev prototype, the real challenge is not from Japan, but from within. Since 2008. China has already paved over 35,000 kilometers of its ambitious HSR network, attaining 70% of its 2025 goal to complete its 8 plus 8 HSR grid. Those tracks are not compatible with maglevs. It needs to survive in this high-speed real world still dominated by wheels. It is a useful addition. For example, this high-speed rail system is suitable for point to point. 呃，旅客呃，旅游线路联网要求不高的，但在点对点，旅客量比较大的点上，或者在山区，尤其西部这个地地广人稀、拆迁工程量小的情况下，我们这个就更合适。
What's next for this super train? Well, Deng and Jin's team are working to extend its task to track to 40 kilometers outside of Chengdu. So its 620 kilometers per hour top speed can be put to the test. I want to go for a long time, this train will be able to do it. But this is a long time.